Okay, round two for those out there. Uh, I just got Tam's uh, model here, and it ended up needing some repairing. But that aside, okay, we're going to walk through this. Just making a cube, and we're going to resize it. Just a little bit bigger than the... A little bit bigger than the part. Okay, it's covering it. Squeak that little beastie down. I like making it a little bit bigger so I can see what's going on here. Like, like so. And thickness wise, we only want to have this um, relatively thin. So on the Z, that's actually the thickness of the part. We're going to set that to. Uh, Oh, quarter of a millimeter for now. You can actually go a little bit thinner because um, the thickness of this is actually going to kind of show out along the outside edges. Um, but we want to be able to see um, see what it is that we're working with. So you leave it a little bit thicker. I'm going to thin it up after we uh, cut it out. And like I forgot last time, we need to duplicate this part first. So take a second here and scoot that over. And we need to kind of lift this, lift this uh, bottom piece actually. We need to settle it first. There we go. Settling it makes sure that it's laying on the floor of our workspace. That's what we'll call it. And we need to lower this just a smidgen. And the hot key for that is uh, holding down your Alt key and using uh, your down arrow. See what I'm doing? So it just barely catches everywhere, like so. And now we're going to use this original to uh, make a cutout, and that's a subtract. This is a much bigger model than the other one I showed you guys with, so it, it's going to take a little bit longer on some of your computers out there. And we're going to delete the outside. And so you see we actually have a plate there. We're going to double check, and it's just a habit of mine, make sure it's settled uh, down on the floor once again. And then a uh, nice feature of Windows 10 3D Builder for you uh, people out there. Uh, this has a snap feature. If you just watch, it'll actually snap itself into place. And you can just barely see that everything's good. It's touching everywhere as it needs to be. And we're going to uh, deselect all and then select that bottom plate. And this is where we uh, need to squeak it up ever so slightly uh, in size. And the reason we need to do that is because uh, around the outside edges of that, there's a very, very minuscule gap um, that the FDM printers um, won't care. They won't even notice it because it's so small, but the modeling or the slicer programs might, and they might end up calling the mesh um, uh, not closed. So in this particular case, um, I'm just going to uh, increase the size. Uh, and you need to lock that. That's the lock feature down here because you want to increase it um, percentage-wise um, equally on both the X, the Y, and the Z. Um, so what we're going to do here, it doesn't matter which one you pick. And like I showed you before, we're just going to do uh, 100.10 right there. Very, very small. 
and now uh, unlock it. And remember I told you I left the, uh, the height of that plate just a little bit thick. Okay, that's only uh, 27, uh, uh, 0 0.27, so we're going to squeak that down to um, 0.10. You got to make sure you unlock it because you only want to adjust the, the height of the uh, uh, plate, not the X or the Y. So that's all done. Go back and select both of those, and we're going to edit, and we're going to merge. It'll take a second or a minute, even you know, depending on the type of uh, computer you have. You just give it a chance to do it, keeping fingers crossed. If you don't do the resizing that I showed you just a minute ago, um, you may encounter a situation where when you try to merge the files, they can't touch and close, and you'll end up with a error once it's finished. See, right now it's thinking about it. If it takes too long to finish up on this laptop, I'm going to speed the video up to the end. So we'll just sit here and wait. Doing a cube, um, like I showed you guys earlier in the other video, is a lot easier on the system than something like this. There's, uh, despite the fact that this model uh, doesn't appear to have much detail around the edges, there is a lot of detail there. And like I said, I'm on a real crappy laptop right now, so it's going to take a minute for this operation to complete. <laughs> I probably have enough time to get up and go get a cup of coffee, so I think I'm going to do that. And in the finished video, I'm going to squeak this part through really, really quick. So I'll be back. <laughs> it heard me. Uh, let's see here. Now, you should be able to just save this as a STL now. And you should be good to go.